Some security measures are already being put in place a little earlier than scheduled. Ground Force Dan Kerman's been checking on all of that. He joins us live from San Francisco with the latest. Dan. Well, the problem with the security measures being put in place, like this fencing along the roadway, is that they have closed a part of the roadway, one of those temporary closures, and they failed to tell anybody about it in advance. We're here at Mission and 4th Street. Right there, you're looking at 4th Street at Mission. The next street is Howard, Mission and Howard. That's where 4th Street is closed. And as a result of this, let me step out of the shot for a minute so you can get some idea of what we're looking at here. As a result of this, traffic is backing up all the way down 4th Street across Market Street into Stockton. It has been like this all day long, and the city has failed to communicate this information with anyone in advance. That horn you hear is likely the sound of anger and frustration due to Thursday's surprise closure of 4th Street between Mission and Howard Street. And this temporary closure is either an indication San Francisco is not as prepared as it should be for APEC, or its ability to communicate with the public has failed. This one block stretch of road, which is a main artery to southbound Highway 101, was shut down about 8 a.m. so crews could put up security fencing in and around 4th Street near the Moscone Center, where the conference will be held. The problem is no one was alerted to the closure in advance. No mention of it on the city's APEC website. Not a word on SFMTA's website. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously super unexpected. Um, and I think it's, you know, caused a lot of obviously traffic and issues. The results were obvious. With vehicles forced to turn from 4th Street onto Mission Street, not only did Mission slow to a crawl, but traffic backed up down 4th Street across Market and into Stockton Street taking many, nearly an hour to go just a few blocks. How long you been sitting here? 20 minutes. What do you think of this? I think it's ridiculous they should have done it at night. You're just going one block. One block, and I'm still not through that block. I'm moving slowly. The city has said there would be temporary road closures leading up to the massive ones next week. But never once did the city suggest drivers would be on their own to figure out what streets would be closed on any given day. And the real key question is what's next? Where is this going to happen next? And how can people prepare for this if the city isn't communicating? We reached out to the city about five hours ago and we asked them a few key questions. One, when is this one block closure going to end? They have not answered that question. We asked them why they failed to communicate the fact that this one block would be closed with people in advance of that. No answer to that question either. Then we asked, where is the next temporary closure going to be in the city? What block so people can prepare for the next one? Again, still no answer from the city of San Francisco. Live at 4th and Mission, I'm Dan Kerman. Back to you in the studio.